Hi friends, so in this video, we are going to continue the same topic, computer arithmetic. So in that topic, so in this, uh, this is a new concept we are going to discuss, that is a Booth's algorithm. So Booth's algorithm always uh, will support the signed integer multiplication. Okay, so in the next slide, we will see uh, how it will work. Okay, so we are going to take these two numbers, uh, that is a 1001 and the 001. Okay, so uh, already uh, uh, negative number multiplication is not easy. So a little bit complex. So here we have two uh, choices are there. One, if you're taking that these two numbers as unsigned integers, the values will be different. Okay, so 1001, it may be considered as a 9. And uh, 001, it will be considered as a 3. Okay, so then uh, if you're multiplying these two numbers, you'll get the answer of 27. But if you're considering that as a two's complement integers, that is a sign integers, if you're going, 1001, it may represent the minus 7. Okay, so now 001 uh, and 1, it may be considered as a 3. So 3 into 7, 21 will be the answer. So this is the problem with uh, unsigned integer and sign, uh, sign integers. So there are, to solve this uh, complexity, you can have two solutions. One is the convert to positive. If it is required, you can convert it. Then multiply as above. That is a just like a positive numbers, you can multiply it. But if the signs were different, you need to negate the answer. So this is the one solution, but a little bit complex to implement. So then you can need to go for the solution number two. Always it will support the Booth's algorithm. So Booth's algorithm is a little bit easy compared to the previous solution. So before that, you need to understand what is arithmetic shift okay so while you're doing the shift operation you need to consider the uh, if the number uh, bit representation is a negative number okay so always uh, the most significant bit will shows the uh, sign bit okay so here this is the 1001 and 0010 if this is the 8 bit representation and this most significant bit may be called as a sign bit okay so here if if the in the most significant bit value is 1 that may uh, that may represent the negative number okay so if this is before the arithmetic shift uh, this is the original value then after arithmetic shift how it will represent so you need to preserve the most significant bit value that is 1 need to be preserved there but you need to shift it so that one is shifted but that place is replaced by one to preserve the sign magnitude okay so this is how the arithmetic shift will happen so this may be used in the Booth's algorithm and this is the flow chart for the Booth's algorithm okay here there are uh, four registers are there uh, registers are a and q minus one and these are the a and q minus one registers the values will be initialized as a is equal to zero 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 that is a four bit representation and uh, q minus one is equal to zero okay so this is the these two values are initialized as zero and m and q registers are there okay so m register is multiplicand register and q is the multiplier register okay so now we will check the conditions here uh, for the q not and the q minus one where you will get the Q naught. Okay, so the Q again the Q register is a 4 bit representation and the 4 bit representation the first uh, bit will be represents the Q naught and Q1, Q2, Q3. These are the positions. So we are taking the Q naught from Q register. So we need to compare Q naught and the Q minus 1. Okay, so here this is the condition need to be verified here. There are four possible values are there. That is a 1, 0 may be coming or a 0, 1 may come or 1, 1 may come or 0, 0. These are the four values, but these four values are uh, categorized into three conditions. One is a 1, 0 is one condition and 0, 1 is a second condition. 1, 1 and 0, 0 as the third condition. Okay. If the 1, 0 is coming, if the results Q0 and Q-1 value is 1, 0 is coming, A tends to A minus M, you need to do it. Then you need to go for the arithmetic shift. This is the first condition. And second condition is, if the value is Q0 and Q-1 is coming, there is a 0 and or the value, then you need to go for the A tends to A plus M, then you need to go for the arithmetic shift. Okay. And the third condition is there, that is a 1, 1 and 0, 0. Okay. So this is the third condition. If these two values are coming, 1, 1 or 0, 0 is coming, you need to only you need to do the arithmetic shift okay so this is the flow chart how the booth's algorithm will work uh, this flow chart is exp uh, uh, representing okay now we'll go to the example we are going to take the two values that is 7 and 3 okay so here this is the multiplicand uh, 0 1 1 1 this is 7 and the q is the multiplier 0 0 1 1 okay so now we are taking this is the q minus 1 is the register and a also is the register 
here I already I have told that so this is from Q only we are going to take the value of Q naught okay so this is the Q naught position Q1 Q2 Q3 okay so here we will take the value so this is the initial values of all the registers now we need to verify what is what we need to verify it so here we need to verify Q naught and Q1 and all these three conditions we are going to verify right okay so here the value is Q naught is 1 and Q minus 1 is 0 so for this condition 1 0 is the value 1 0 is the value you need to go for the a tends to a minus m and you need to do the arithmetic shift so here we'll do it here and uh, this is the value of m and this is the value of Z, uh, q and a right so what you need to do if the value is 1 0 you need to go for a tends to a minus m you need to go for the arithmetic shift. So this is the steps you need to do it. So first step will go for a tends to a minus m. Okay. So here, you, if you need a, to a uh, you need if you need to do a minus m. So here, uh, a is zero zero zero. Then uh, minus m means this here seven. So if you want to do the subtraction, one thing you can do it. You need to convert into two's complement. Then you can add with a. So two's complement of m okay two's complement of m is uh, 0 1 1 1 can be converted into 1 0 0 0 then you need to add 1 and this is the value 1 0 0 1 and this is the two's complement of m so now you need to go for a tends to a minus m okay so now here uh, a tends to a minus m is 0 0 0 this is the a value and here uh, my m value is 1 0 0 1 and this is the uh, value of my m so now your m value is 1 0 0 0 1 and this is the value represented in here this is m so now uh, the first step has been finished you need to do the arithmetic shift so arithmetic shift you need to preserve the most significant value this is the arithmetic uh, most significant value so that has been um, that is preserved here then this one is moved to the third position and two uh, two zeros are moved here and one is moved here these two zeros are moved to the next position and this one is moved to the first position and this one is moved to the q minus one's position so this is how your arithmetic shift will work okay so this is the end of the first step and second step again you need to verify and q naught and the q minus one so here values are one one so we'll check the flow chart what is the if the value 1 1 is coming what is the condition so this is the value 1 1 the 1 1 is coming automatically you need to do the only one operation that is arithmetic shift you need to do it so here we are doing the arithmetic shift here so only thing you need to do the uh, preserve the uh, most significant bit for representing the sign magnitude okay so this is how here in this step you are doing the arithmetic shift okay so here again so this one is moving here okay so this is the difference here so then again you need to verify what is the value of q naught and the q minus 1 so here this is the q naught and this is the q minus 1 okay so now the values are 0 and 1 so we'll check the flow chart what is the value for 0 and 1 and this is the value of 0 and 1 if the value of 0 and 1 is coming you need to do the a tends to a plus m then you need to go for the arithmetic shift okay so now we'll do it here uh, here this is the q and the a and m so now what you need to do your uh, uh, rule is a tends to a plus m then you need to do the arithmetic shift okay so a value is here 1 1 1 0 this is the a value and 0 1 1 1 this is the value of m okay so a plus m so now you are adding here so 1 so 1 plus 1 is 0 and remainder 1 and here if you are adding 3 ones so 1 will be coming here and remainder 1 and if you are adding 2 ones and here this is the value of 0 and this is the overflow okay so while we are adding you can leave the overflow so our representation is 4 bit so we are taking these 4 bits we are taking and this is the value here 0 1 0 1 okay so now the first step is finished in the third cycle you need to do the arithmetic shift okay so here there is no problem with um, there is a most significant bit that is a value of 0 so only thing you need to do the arithmetic shift so arithmetic shift has been finished here now again you need to verify 
what is the value of q naught and q na uh, q minus one so here value value both the values are zero zero we'll check the flow chart so if the values are zero zero only thing you need to do the arithmetic shift arithmetic shift we are doing with the last step that is here the one is moving here okay so here this one is coming here this is how that's moving to the right uh, right side okay so this is the end of the result you can get the result in a and q so this is the result for seven uh, seven cross three you will get the value of 21 and this is the result so this is how your uh, boots algorithm will work you can go for the any combinations that is a signed com signed uh, binary uh, multiplication it supports the sign uh, sign uh, binary multiplication so this is how your uh, boots algorithm will work then here we, here is your summary right so here we'll do, we already started with the signed integer multiplication we started and uh, we discussed about what is arithmetic shift then we discussed about the uh, boots algorithm flow chart and last we discussed about the uh, example example for the boots algorithm okay uh, this is the end of the boots algorithm explanation thank you